Hello everyone and welcome to the Battlecraft server, the only server where everyone's a bit odd, but not too odd, just oddish. It's, it's become a thing guys, unfortunately, a pun at the beginning of each episode. It's it's here to stay, but I'm starting this episode in my new living room. You can see this lovely decorated room here. It's been a while since I've decorated any rooms in my house and I thought I would just give it a bit of a go. Uh, I wanted to do kind of a nice living room, I changed the floor, I've put in a nice fireplace which is crackling away, added in some lovely paintings and I think this room, although a bit simple, you know, pretty good. There's still a lot of work to do inside the house but there's also a lot of work to do outside the house. Last episode we started adding in these kind of wireframe structures to show where buildings are going to go and I've run out of wool very very quickly but I've been AFK at the wool farm so I now have plenty of wool to finish off this whole section but first of all seeing that people are online I thought I'm gonna practice my hiding and seeking skills do you know what i'm thinking though we haven't had any pranks on the server really so seeing that fuzzy and vert are both on why not go and cause a tiny bit of mayhem okay fuzzy is on his way back okay present is there by the way can i appreciate how beautiful fuzzy's house is and like the surrounding area oh there he is <gasps> i see him i can hear you breathing rob <laughs> no <laughs> I'm not here. I'm not here, Fuzzy. I'm not here. <laughs> I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. Just, uh, I need to get better Highland Seek. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> okay, so, so um, <clears throat> I'm totally here on my own. No one else is here behind me, behind my windmill at all. What's underneath it? Nothing. An observer. No, there's mm. nothing there. Let me get my, let me get my axe out. Boom, boom. It's a boom oh. box. <laughs> Get it? Oh my god. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a box that goes boom. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Why does it say boom boom? Because I needed to name <laughs> the the, po the, the, <laughs> the speaker something. <laughs> and I tried naming it like blank and it wouldn't. So I needed <laughs> And then I couldn't just not put a message because it wouldn't do it then. So you uh, get two booms for the price of one. I was bored. I thought Fuzzy looked like he could do with some cheering up. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> no. Do I, do, I, do, I, do I look like I need cheering up? No, but it's a good excuse, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly because, what it is. Because if, I, because if I say it like that, then it doesn't sound like I was doing a prank. It sounds like I was doing something nice. Oh, by the way, no. I, yeah. I I did something that might benefit you if you if you're interested. Okay, sure. What what do you do? F follow me to spawn. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Do you want to also do it? Yeah. Uh, have have you have you taken the peepop challenge yet? No, it's the peepop challenge. Not using your elytra. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> what a fun it's a challenge. challenge. Oh man, I don't. But I, I don't know where any other portals connect to, because I just fly that's everywhere. Why I've that's why I've labelled uh. them. But also, I, I even, I even uh, improved your portal. Uh, but then it's, I have to then uh, walk. Uh, my base is all very vertical. <laughs> right over here, there's a secret little. <gasps> there's a hatch. There's a hatch. Oh. Oh, that's and here's nice where one. my new storage system is. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. So you, so you've just got your storage system here. Ah, okay. At spawn, so now I don't have to worry about chunk loading wherever I live. I can just, you know, have ah. my thing here. And if you want to take the other side, you can just put your storage system there. So I can put my storage system here, and, and then access it wirelessly anywhere. Yeah. How do I do the wireless thing? I've not actually looked into this. You need one of these guys. Oh, that's great. I just found one on the floor. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just um, shift right click on the crafting terminal next to a fully tiered beacon. Oh, okay. Cool. That's a really good idea, actually. As, as long as long as it's loaded, you can do. You can get it anywhere. Like, even in the end, you can use your, your system. Oh, that's really cute. Really good idea. And also, this makes it a lot easier for me to know where to access your stuff from. <laughs> You know, oh just, god, it's, it's like being a vault hunter again. Just, just you know, 
Thank you. This chest is my chest. That chest is your chest. No, wait, that's my chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why when I this is why when I went to everyone's base trying to find a load of wool, I couldn't find your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't have any wool. I don't think. No one has any wool. I've discovered. No, wait, no. Th that's why I had to make a farm. I, I got I, I got a farm now. I don't need the wool. <laughs> I'm gonna come back, and you're gonna have link to this, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't even need to see your face. I just saw that little head move and it was like, <gasps> that, that's possible? <laughs> yeah, because I'm assuming there's no limit to how many controllers you have, right? No, you can literally link to everyone's. And then label each wireless. I gotta go, Fuzzy. I've got something to do. See you later. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's a really great idea. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Fuzzy. So, in good news, I've now got a way to connect to wireless uh, system, storage system, and I may be able to connect to everyone's storage system. In in not so good news, uh, I seem to have taken up the people challenge, is that what we're calling it now? And I'm just walking around the server, I'm not flying, wait, is that him flying? I think that's Vert flying. Uh, I'm gonna, ah, I don't like this, I don't like this. I may, I may do one episode doing the people challenge and then go back to flying. So I think it's finally time. Let's get working on our base. I've got all the wool I need, so I'm ready to start adding the outline of all the buildings that are gonna go here behind me. So let's do it in the form of a time-lapse. Let's go! So, as you can see, um, this place is a bit of a mess now, but it's it's a planned mess, which is the important thing. All of this wool is eventually going to be buildings in this kind of small town city kind of thing that I'm building. And I think it's going to look pretty cool. I've tried to kind of like plan shapes that I think are going to be really interesting, not just like standard rectangular houses. I've added things like this is going to be an archway and more importantly I've added in quite a lot of diagonal lines and just not straight lines. I've never really worked with not flat surfaces but I relish the challenge. But having placed all of this uh, wool I've now realized that this is a lot of work. This is not something we do over the course of like two episodes. Why, why is there a platform near where we live? Okay, odd. So yeah, this is going to take a while to construct. It's going to be probably something I do throughout the entirety of this season. But talking about resources, there's something I want to do based on uh, my conversation with Fuzzy. And that is to move my storage system, which is currently in my base, to the beacon in the shopping district. Can't believe I actually have to walk around places like a common peasant. Ooh, this place is being decorated. That's fun. But yeah, we need to move all of our resources underneath this beacon. Hook it up to some kind of storage system. So what I really want to do is get some of these obsidian chests that everyone seems to have. The one thing we're missing is diamonds. So I guess I'm going mining? <laughs> like several months within the new season this is weird so let's say i want 32 chests that means i need to get 64 diamonds yay nice and easy oh some more hidden away hold hold on a second hold on a second guys i think that's a shiny ditto that is a shiny ditto my first shiny my first proper shiny. Okay, right, we need to capture this. Gengar, you're kind of in the way. Move out, out of the way. Please, please, no, okay, 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 26 balls. I don't even have a boat on me, so I can't even put him in a boat if I run out of Pokeballs. Yes, we got a shiny! We got a shiny ditto! Oh, shine! Oh, yes, first shiny! 
I mean, I realise I have a first shiny Raticate, rat or whatever it's called, but this is the first proper shiny I found in the wild and collected. Woo! I'm so happy. That is awesome. And after that successful mission, we managed to get ourselves 72, yes, my math is correct, 72 diamonds, which is plenty for what we need to do. We need 64 of them. So let's get crafting some chests. So I'm hoping to make 32 chests. And there we go, we all have, there are now iron chests. Right, so gold chests are incoming. And now let's make them into diamond chests. Yeah, okay, that's all our diamond chests. And finally, last layer, obsidian chests. And there we go, 32 obsidian chests. Now before I dismantle the system and move it across, there's something else I need to make. Uh, yeah, this thing here, the advanced wireless terminal. Yeah, we should be good. So that is the wireless terminal. And then all we need is a netherite ingot. And I actually went out and collected four netherite scraps specifically for this. Do that, that, and now we've got an advanced wireless terminal. But before we can use this, we need to move all of our stuff to the beacon underneath spawn. So the sorting system is all set up and uh, you can see if I now right click this controller, I have access to all of my stuff, despite the fact that it's all at spawn, it's all miles and miles away. So this can be really handy because I can be absolutely anywhere and I can just access my whole inventory. And this is what it looks like on the other side. This is my stuff here. And that is the beacon which is kind of beaconing off the signal that I'm using to access the terminal. So that's all pretty cool. And it's a decent bit of progress for an episode, to be honest. There is just one more thing I want to do, and that is to work a bit on the nether tunnels. Looks like everyone's decorated their own tunnels. So pretty cool, that is, that is pretty epic, to be honest. But mine's uh, not looking so epic. So I'm gonna spend a bit of time jazzing this up to make it look a bit better. I'm quite happy with this actually. I think the combination of colors works very well. It's obviously using this warped stem, which is my favorite block. I love the color of it. I tried to really work with the depth of the tunnel, as in those walls, you know, they're, they're recessed a few times all the way back there. I just think it's much nicer than a flat surface. I've done the same up there with the lights. But unfortunately, with that, it is the end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.